Hi guys, I wanted to take a minute to talk about the high scope key developmental indicators um, and compare them to the Illinois Early Learning Standards um, that you um, have in this booklet that you were supposed to purchase for this class. And so I wanted to talk about how the key developmental indicators will parallel the standards in the Illinois Early Learning um, Standards book that you have. And when you are creating activity plans for your early childhood classroom, you will be using these LA, Illinois Early Learning and Development Standards instead of using the key developmental indicators. Um, for most of you, whenever you um, are done with this class and you go into an early childhood classroom, that classroom is probably not going to be using high scope. Um, and so since they're not going to be using high scope, they're not going to be using the KDIs. And so I want you to be sure that you know how to apply standards to your lesson planning so that you know how to do that. And so what we're going to do for this week is I want you to look at the key developmental indicators for the chapter that we're learning. So we're talking about science and technology this week. Um, so these are the KDIs that are listed. Um, for science and technology, you have observing, classifying, experimenting, predicting, drawing conclusions, communicating ideas, natural and physical world, and tools and technology. So then if you go to the Illinois Early Learning Standards booklet, you can look in the table of contents and you can find here that they have a section on science and you can go find page 55. And I am doing that. And you can see here that there is a section um, on science and explains all about that science content area. It talks about what standards um, and the reasoning behind what they're assessing within this. And then you can start to look at the different standards and the benchmarks that explain the standard and you can see how they compare to these KDIs in science and technology. So what I want you to do is um, your check-in activity this week is going to be um, linking these KDIs to the science learning standards. So what you're going to do is you're going to type out first the KDIs. You're going to put um, science and technology as your header. Then you're going to type observing. Once you've typed observing, then you're going to go over here to Illinois Early Learning Standards and you're going to look through all the standards and all the benchmarks and figure out which of those standards and benchmarks apply to observing based on the description that HighScope has listed for observing. Then once you've done that, you're going to go down to classifying, and then you're going to go back to the Illinois Early Learning Standards and Science, and you're going to find which standards and benchmarks fit that description of classifying, and then so on and so forth. Um, so you'll do that for all of these KDIs. You'll link them to standards. Most likely, you will have more than one standard and or benchmark for each of the KDIs, as our KDIs are very vague in their descriptions and they could be an umbrella term for multiple learning standards. Um, so that's what I want you to try to do this week. I want you to try to see how the KDIs are still having you assess the same types of goals that the Illinois Early Learning and Developmental Standards are assessing as well um, and seeing how those fit together and work um, together. So I hope I explained this okay. I hope that you understand what your check-in activity is for this week. If you have any questions about it, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. If I find that um, there's multiple students that are having an issue understanding what the goal of this assignment is, um, then I will put some supplemental information out there so you can truly understand what you're supposed to accomplish um, for this activity. Um, that's all I have for now. Thanks and good luck guys. Bye-bye.